Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Welcome to the, another amazing episode of The Body Beatdown with me, Michael. I'm your incredible host. Incredible, I don't know. Yeah, it is what it is. So today is my leg day. It's Monday. Mondays are always my leg day. Mike, why don't you change things up? Well, you, you need to stay on schedule. You need to have schedules and things that you follow, a routine, and uh, changing things up like that doesn't sit well with me. I don't like change. However, this video is actually about changing things up. Now, typically, let's take a typical leg day. A typical leg day for most people is going to consist of Did you hear that? Pee Wee Herman just laughed at me. A typical leg day is going to consist of squats, leg extension, leg curl, maybe some calf raises, maybe a leg press, maybe a hack squat, maybe a leverage squat, lunges, etc., etc. And then you can incorporate as many of those as you want into your leg day. This goes for any day, your arm day, your shoulder day, your chest day, your back day, whatever day you do, you're gonna throw in typically two, three, maybe four or five different movements per body part. Today, I am changing things up. Despite not liking change, I'm changing things up just a bit. Today is my leg day, of course, and on my leg day, I do, uh, Smith Machine Squats, and I do uh, my compact, my Titan compact leg uh, press hex squat. <clears throat> so typically I do those two movements on my leg day. Now, today I'm keeping it simple. I'm going to just be doing the hack squat, the hack press. Uh, why? Why are you going to do that, Michael? Well, now this is no scientific researched uh, information. You can go and check Google, you can go and check YouTube and Facebook and every other kind of place you want to check. You can read a book, I don't care what you do. Uh, I don't know how much real scientific evidence there is for what I'm doing, for what I do, uh, but periodically, change is good and by today, I'm changing things up by just doing one movement. And in my opinion, my humble opinion, my unscientific opinion is sometimes whenever you keep things really simple, you can kind of hone in on the actual muscle that that particular movement is hitting. And on top of that, you can also, with, with a, a press like this or with a lot of different things, you can kind of manipulate your body in certain ways and kind of move your feet this way or this way or in this way or out this way or in a little further. You know, you can kind of manipulate things and change things up while you're doing this one movement. So in my theory, it's just good to do one movement and you know appreciate and get the benefits of what that one movement is doing without having to spread yourself over you know three four five different movements for that body part because uh, if you're doing the press here and then you're doing a squat here well how do you know which one's hitting what maybe you're wanting to hit something a certain way or feel a certain feeling uh, that you're wanting to feel or you know uh, you know what I'm trying to say as far as just uh, trying to hit and, and, and hone in on one certain thing is hard to do whenever you're spreading it over uh, a few different movements. Uh, it's no different than arms. I do that periodically. I'll find myself not doing uh, like easy bar curls and then alternating dumbbell curls and then a hammer curl and then a concentration curl and then maybe a... Uh, cable curl or a what have you. So instead of doing all that, a lot of times I'll say, okay, let's take this one movement 
and utilize it to its fullest. And I might do <coughs> uh, 8, 10, 12 sets of an easy bar curl or 8, 10, 12 sets of uh, sitting simultaneous dumbbell curls, something along those lines, because you're getting the full benefits of that one particular movement, which I feel like we need. Uh, I don't know the scientific you know, research on that and, or anything, but that's just my opinion of it. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, we're gonna hit the leg press there, the hack squat press, and uh, I'm gonna do anywhere from 10, 15, maybe 20 sets. And I'm gonna go up as heavy as the weight that I've got, and I'm gonna go all the way back down to, you know, lightweight and maybe in between and this, that, and the other, and a high rep and a low rep and a one rep, and I'm just gonna kinda mix things up and hit my legs. Uh, I'm not gonna even show the leg workout because everyone has seen my leg press workout. And, and not that I never showed again, but just in this video. I'm just kind of explaining how I feel about uh, hitting a body part with one movement. So anyway, this is a six and a half minute video already. I hope that you uh, take what I said, uh, maybe go and try it out for yourself. Maybe if you do legs once a week, Try this for the next, say, six weeks. Take one movement that you want to do for the legs and just do that movement. Same thing for any other body part that you work out. Pick one movement and really, really uh, hit that movement hard, okay? Uh, do it for like six weeks, maybe, and see what you think and comment back. Let me know uh, what you think. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this kind of different uh the body beat down episode. Uh, I do like to discuss things and talk about things like this. So it's not always just working out or walking or anything. So uh, anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down with me, Michael, your incredible host. Huh. Anyway, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. We'll see you next time. Don't forget guys, please be an inspiration to someone today, and especially yourself. See you later. Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it!